Hi, my name is Amit Chaudhary. I'm the executive chef of Taj Mahal Palace in Mumbai. I started my career in this very hotel as a chef management trainee in the year 1985. During my stint in this hotel, I handled chambers in the Zodiac Grill. Zodiac Grill was one of the finest contemporary fine dining restaurant at that time and it had created ripples when it had opened. In year 2002, I was posted to Man Singh Taj Mahal Hotel Delhi and um, that was a real challenge for me because we had opened up to unique new restaurant. One was Wasabi, which was the second Japanese restaurant that had opened up over there. And we opened up the iconic work, which was a modern Indian fine dining restaurant. A lot of research goes into implementing and coming up with ideas for new F&B uh, concepts. Um, there are various factors that are involved. The most important factor is that what the guest wants. We are constantly in, in touch with our guests uh, to understand their needs. At the same time, what we do is we score the international market and domestic market for different trends. We also understand from our vendors what are the latest produce that are there in the market. We try and um, you know do lots of extensive trials, ideate with our chefs because we have a rich culinary heritage in, this, uh, in the hotel. Then we come up with some concepts where it, we implement those concepts, um, first showcasing it to our regular guests. Once they are happy with that kind of uh, the food that we serve, we then further develop these concepts and implement them. Case for example is that we have in banquets, we have done a lovely hybrid buffet, which is a concept, which is a combination of a floating buffet and um, an island station, which is very eclectic, which has been received very well and which we have done it very successfully in the past few months. Work, which was a fine dining Indian restaurant, which we started in Taj Mahal, Delhi. At that time, it was a very challenging proposition. We had done a lot of intensive survey and research for two to three years to develop that kind of concept because um, it's very challenging to have Indian food on a plate and present it artistically in the 12 inch plate uh, demands a lot of uh, research and trying out different dishes uh, to make sure that we do not fail in a typical Indian market which is used to Indian food on a thali. So that was our challenge which I think we have met and today it is very widely accepted and work is iconic and an award-winning restaurant today. Yes, guest preferences have definitely changed over time, uh, especially after COVID also. Uh, people uh, nowadays travel extensively and they dine at different locations in different destinations and they want to replicate that cuisine experience with us uh, when they are back over here. That is one thing. Secondly, because of COVID, the, ch the whole perception and the thought process of eating alone at home has changed and the guests would like to come to the fine dining restaurant and experience the cuisine in a, in a, a very uh, social atmosphere. Thirdly, there is a something called a mindful eating which the guest of late has developed. It is more about consciousness because of COVID people are conscious about uh, their health. Also, they are more conscious about the diet and the, uh, the kind of uh, food intake that they take. Trends, there are various trends that are there uh, today. Most important is global cuisine wherein we have uh, global uh, experiences and flavors that are added to, uh, to the local ingredients that is available in the uh, local market. Secondly, there is a trend in terms of veganism, wherein people are very conscious about what they eat. Alternative meat-based uh, ingredients are available in market and it is becoming a popular fad in that which we are adapting ourselves in this hotel. So trust, awareness and joy are the basic pillars of Tajness. We implement all this in our day-to-day -day activities when we uh, coordinate with our team of chefs or with our vendors. The chefs are trained and empowered to uh, come up with ideas. They are trained properly so that they know exactly what they're doing and then try and give us 
uh, the kind of food that is required by our guests. We also encourage our vendors to come out with uh, different ingredients that, which are new in the market and we encourage them for sustainable products. Even what we do is in our CR, CSR activities, we have this travel cuisine from the Northeast, which we have encouraged the chefs from that area and we have curated events in our banquet. This is how we uh, encourage our team.